Welcome back everyone. Well, rhubarb is an early season crop, but if you've never used it in a sweet and tangy dessert, well, you should give it a try. Start with this recipe from chef Christy Rost from her Breckenridge kitchen. I'm Christy Ross coming to you from my swan's nest garden. My rhubarb is always the first thing to sprout right after the snow melts and long before I can plant seeds in the veggie garden. Today, it's ready to harvest. So I'm going to make a scrumptious cherry rhubarb tart. The first step is making the pastry. So I have two cups of whole purpose flour in here and I add two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and mix this up briefly in the food processor. Then I add three quarters cup of unsalted butter and it's ice cold and that's really important. The ice cold butter is what helps make the pastry really tender. Put the lid back on and pulse. So I want to make the butter into real small pieces, about the size of a pea. Then I add four to five tablespoons of ice cold water. There we go. And again, I'm going to pulse this. And I'll see the mixture become real crumbly. And then I'm going to turn it on. And you can see now it's getting, the crumbs are now turning into clumps and it's about to chase itself around. And that's when I know the pastry's ready. Take a piece of plastic wrap and put your pastry in there and chill it until it's really cold. That'll take about an hour. Once the pastry has chilled, you can roll it out, put it into a 10 inch tart pan, re-roll the scraps, and then use a pastry wheel like this with a fluted edge to create strips. And those will go on top of the tart to make a lattice cover. And then I have a large can of cherry pie filling. And to this, I'm going to add two cups of chopped fresh rhubarb. I add in a third cup of granulated sugar, and a spritz of fresh lemon juice, which is just going to brighten the flavor. Okay, once you have all of the filling in, then you can start to use the pastry strips to decorate. Now, we are going to do kind of cheating a little bit. Uh, instead of weaving all of the pastry strips, I'm going to just lay them on top, then go the other direction and lay them on top. And the last pastry strip. Then just use your fingers to push against the edge of the tart and that will cut off those ends. Okay, then to give it the finishing touch, I have an egg wash. This is one egg that I have beaten with a fork and added one tablespoon of water in there. In the meantime, I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees, and this will bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. The finishing touch that bakers use is sparkling sugar and it doesn't melt in the oven. So into the oven this goes. When fresh rhubarb and canned cherry filling are as close as my garden and pantry, it's easy to create this beautiful cherry rhubarb tart. Take care, stay safe, find the joy. this recipe and more on our website coloradoandco.com christy's website is christyross.com and you can get your copy of our celebrating home cookbook while you are there